Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn the relation between addition and subtraction in class 3. Once you know the relation between addition and subtraction, we can do subtraction and verify the answer with the help of addition. We know that addition and subtraction are mathematical operations on numbers. Addition means to put together. And the answer in an addition is called as sum. Subtraction means take away. Answer in subtraction is called as the difference. You must have learnt all this in your lower classes. If you put together 4 and 5, you get 9. That is, when you add 4 plus 5, you get the answer to be 9. If you take away 4 from 9, you get 5. That is, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. If you take away 5 from 9, you get 4. That is, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. This shows that addition and subtraction are the opposite of each other. We understood this with the help of a single digit number. Let us try to understand this that addition and subtraction are opposite of each other with the help of four digit numbers. First, we are going to do the addition of two four digit numbers 6578 plus 3421. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 8 plus 1 in the ones place is 9. In tens place, 7 plus 2 is 9. In hundreds place, 5 plus 4 is 9. And in thousands place, 6 plus 3 is 9. So the sum of the two four digit numbers 6578 plus 3421 is 9999. Now, what will happen when we take away or subtract 6,578 from 9,999. Let us see. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 in the ones place is 1. In tens place, 9 minus 7 is 2. In hundreds place, 9 minus 5 is 4. And in thousands place, 9 minus 6 is 3. So you get the other number 3421 when we take away 6578 from 9999. Let us take the other way around. What happens if we take away 3421 from 9999? Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 1 in the ones place is 8. 9 minus 2 in the tens place is 7. In hundreds place, 9 minus 4 is 5. And in thousands place, 9 minus 3 is 6. So the answer is 6,578. So if we take away 3,421 from 9,999, we will get the other number 6,578. Let us do another sum to understand the relation between Addition and subtraction. Now again we are going to add two four digit numbers 4361 plus 1520. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 1 plus 0 is 1. In tens place 6 plus 2 is 8. Hundreds place 3 plus 5 is 8. And in thousands place 4 plus 1 is 5. So the sum of the two four digit numbers is 5881. Now, what will happen if we take away 4361 from 5881? Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 1 minus 1 in ones place is 0. In tens place, 8 minus 6 is 2. In hundreds place, 8 minus 3 is 5. And in thousands place, 5 minus 4 is 1. So you get the other number. 1520 when we subtract 4361 
from 5881. Let us verify this also. What happens when we subtract 1520 from 5881? Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 1 minus 0 is 1. 8 minus 2 in tens place is 6. In hundreds place, 8 minus 5 is 3. And in thousands place, 5 minus 1 is 4. So you get the other number 4361 when we take away 1520 from 5881. Hope you understood the relationship between addition and subtraction. Now that we have understood that, we are going to do checking subtraction by addition. So stay with me till the end of this video. The relationship between addition and subtraction helps us to use addition to check the answer to a subtraction problem. To check the answer to a subtraction problem, add the difference to the smaller number and you will get the greater number. Let us see this with the help of a simple example. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Here 4 is the difference between 9 and 5. Which is the smaller number in 9 and 5? 5. So when we add this difference to the smaller number 5, you will get the greater number 9. Let us do this with 4 digit numbers and understand the concept better. Subtract and check the answer by addition. 6532 from 7869. Write down the number from which you are going to subtract. Write its place values so that you can write down the other number at its appropriate place. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 2 is 7. Tens place 6 minus 3 is 3. In hundreds place 8 minus 5 is 3. And in thousands place 7 minus 6 is 1. So the difference between the two numbers is 1337. What is the rule? When we add this difference to the smaller number which is 6532 in this case, we should get the greater number. Let us see if it is correct. In ones place, 7 plus 2 is 9. In tens place, 3 plus 3 is 6. In hundreds place, 3 plus 5 is 8. And in thousands place, 1 plus 6 is 7. So you get the answer to be 7869, which is the bigger number, which shows that the subtraction operation that you have performed is correct. Let us do another example now. Subtract and check the answer by addition. 4983 from 9192. So, 9192 is the number from which you are going to subtract. Write down its place values and write down the other number and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 2 minus 3 cannot be done. So, you borrow from the tens place. Regrouping tens place, you will get 8 tens and 10 ones. So, 10 ones plus 2 ones, you will get 12 ones. And now, 12 ones minus 3 ones will give you 9 in the ones place. In tens place, 8 minus 8 is 0. Here in hundreds place, 1 minus 9 cannot be done because 9 is greater than 1. So borrow from the thousands place where you have 9 thousands. Regrouping 9 thousands, you will get 8 thousands plus 10 hundreds. You already have 100 over there. So 10 plus 1 will give you 11 hundreds in the hundreds place. Subtract 11 minus 9 in the hundreds place and you will get 2. Now in the thousands place, 8 minus 4 is 4. So the difference between the two four digit numbers is 4209. Now we have to verify if this answer is correct. For that what we will have to do? Write down the difference and add it to the smaller number which is 4983 in this case. Begin the addition from the ones place. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2 carry over 1. In tens place 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. In hundreds place, 2 plus 9 is 11. 1 carry over 1. In thousands place, 1 plus 4 plus 4 will give you 9. So the answer is 9192 which is the bigger number. So your subtraction is correct. Next sum. 
Subtract and check the answer by addition. 6,999 from 9,000. So here we have zeros in the number from which you are going to subtract. So it's going to be interesting. Write down the place values and write down the other number and begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones, tens and hundreds place you have zeros. You cannot sub borrow from them. So move to the thousands place where you have nine thousands. Regrouping that you get eight thousands plus ten hundreds. You have to regroup ten hundreds again. This becomes nine hundreds and ten tens. Regrouping this it becomes nine tens and ten ones. Ten minus nine in the ones place is one. In tens place nine minus nine is zero. Hundreds place nine minus nine is zero. And thousands place eight minus six is two. So the difference is 2001. To this difference, we are going to add the smaller number 6999. What will happen? Begin the addition from 1's place. 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 carry over 1. In 10's place, 1 plus 0 plus 9, 10, 0 carry over 1. 1 plus 0 plus 9 in 100's place, 10, 0 carry over 1. In 1000's place, 1 plus 2 plus 6 will give you 9000, which is the bigger number. So, the subtraction that you have done is perfectly right. Subtract and check the answer by addition. 4 from 1000. Write down 1000. Write down the place values and write down 4 in the 1's place. Begin the subtraction from the 1's place. 1's, 10's and 100's is having zeros. So, go to the 1000's place which is having 1000. You are going to borrow from here. So, this will become 0, 1000 and 10 hundreds. Regrouping this, this will become 9 hundreds and 10 tens. Regrouping this, it will become 9 tens and 10 ones. 10 minus 4 in the ones place is 6. 9 and 9 in the tens and hundreds place has to be taken and written down. Just like that, thousands place is having a 0. So, subtraction of 1000 minus 4 will give you 996. Adding 996 plus 4, you will get 6 plus 4 is 10, 0 carry over 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 carry over 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. The 1 will move to the new place value, 1000. And the answer is 1000. So your subtraction is perfectly right. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 3 under the topic subtraction for the children. Of which I have covered the first 3 topics in separate videos. Links to those videos are given below in the description box. In this video, we saw the topic relation between addition and subtraction and checking the subtraction by addition. In my upcoming videos, we will be seeing story sums, mental math and subtraction worksheets in separate videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box or you may click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos for class 3 subtraction. Thank you for watching my video. See you again in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.